welcome to Morse's Math Morsels. Here's yet another video about the power of conjugates with a few more examples. In my other uh, few videos about conjugates, I had presented some other examples and had multiplied them. What I had not touched on in the others was the addition of conjugates. For example, 5 minus the square root of 4 plus 5 plus the square root of 4. Notice when you add conjugates, these second terms on the right side will cancel. And that's just 0. Negative square root of 4 plus positive square root of 4 just makes 0. So we're just left with 5 plus 5, which is 10. If I add these conjugates, 3 plus the square root of 3, and 3 minus the square root of 3, a similar kind of situation. These two square root of 3, the radicals will cancel. We have a positive, uh, followed by its negative, or its additive inverse, leaving just the 3 plus the 3 whole numbers, and that's 6. And finally, 8 plus the square root of 11, added to 8 minus the square root of that 11. And you guessed it, the square root of 11 items, the negative and the positive cancel, just leaving 16. So there's another power of conjugates, adding them will remove that second term in each expression. And that can be very handy when you're trying to perform operations such as rationalize the denominator in which you have a fraction with a conjugate or some uh, radical expression of the denominator and you need to use the conjugate to get rid of it. I'm going to erase these for the time being and go back to multiplication of conjugates. Dollar examples use whole numbers and complex numbers. Here I'm just using radicals. You'll probably notice that square root of 4 just equals 2 by left it in radical form, just to show that it works with any radicals in any form. Multiplying square root of 4 times negative square root of 4 will be just minus 4. And square root of 4 times 5, 5 times the square root of 4. 5 times a negative square root of 4. And finally, the 5 times 5, which is 25, way over here. Add these up. The 5 times square root of 4 and the negative 5 times square root of 4 cancel. Their sum is 0. Get rid of them. That minus stays, leaving 25 minus 4 equals 21. Well, the same kind of situation with uh, this conjugate pair being multiplied. Square root of 3 times negative square root of 3, that's going to yield a minus 3. Negative square root of 3 times 3 is just uh, 3 times the square root of 3 with the minus sign in front. This 3 times this square root of 3. 3 times square root of 3, that's positive. And then finally, just to make room for that last quantity, 3 times 3, 9. Add these up, and like the square root of 4 is in the earlier example, these are going to cancel. And we're just left with a 9 minus 3. 6, and if I say completeness, I'll just put to 21, and back there in an earlier example. Last example, 11 radical times negative uh, radical 11, square root of 11, that's just minus 11. Negative square root of 11 times 8. And the other will be, as you probably predicted, the positive 8 times the square root of 11. Then our 8 times 8, add up these terms, and 
As you know, uh, these are gone, and we just have 64 minus 11 equals 53. And note that 53 is a prime number as it happens, so here was yet another way to represent 53 as a product of two factors. I had to use some radicals and generate irrational numbers to do it. Oh, uh, once again, a power of conjugates and some uses and uh, canceling radicals, as well as complex numbers and with whole numbers. Thanks for viewing.